Today I'll teach you guys something else that's really important, how to track your CPU temperature. Let's get down to it. So uh, on my second monitor, I always have the CPU temperature open because especially if like you're rendering videos or playing games or anything like that, it's actually pretty important to make sure your CPU isn't getting super hot. You don't necessarily always have to have it on, but if you're having issues with overheating, definitely uh, get this application. So the one I use is called Core Temp. We'll go ahead and download that really quick. I went ahead and installed it or uh, uninstalled it. So just Google Core Temp. It's this one at LCP or alcpu.com, just download it. It's actually like, usually if you're downloading West, like applications like this from websites, you should be pretty um, careful. But this website I've downloaded many, many, many times. It's a uh, very legit. So we'll go ahead, and go ahead and install it. There is a couple caveats to installing this. Um, sometimes they try to give you adware with this program. Sometimes they don't. Kind of depends what version you download, but so we'll go ahead and install it to our program files. Uh, yeah, so yeah, this check mark right here, build your kingdom with God, blah, blah, blah. Uncheck mark that. Just make sure, the only thing I really ever keep, I'm also gonna uncheck install additional language packs. I only keep the desktop icon checked because the other stuff, I don't really think it's important. So I just get the main application. Then we install it. Go ahead and you don't really need to view the readme so i just click on it because i don't feel like i want it to open and then there we go we got the cpu temperature right there on our desktop so um it's a pretty nice application i use it all the time shows you um certain things that are uh just i don't know important to know it shows you the frequency of each core i have an amd fx8350 so it shows you the cpu shows you the tdp shows you how many nanometers it is and the voltage and all that cool stuff you don't necessarily need to know all that stuff. Just, I guess the really important thing is CPU temperature down here and check out the max temperature. It'll also give you the TJ max, which is the maximum temperature your CPU is ever supposed to reach. So like if my CPU got above 80 degrees Celsius, that's bad news. So if you're having issues with CPU temperature, check out the TJ max temperature and check out your like the temperature that it currently is and also the max temperature and see if it ever gets around there. And if it does, then you might have an issue with like, maybe like if you like see in here, like sometimes it get clogged up with dust on the CPU heat sink, um, cat hair in particular. So that kind of stuff you kind of have to clear out maybe with a can of compressed air or you can take off the fan on the CPU and you can actually just like blow it out or, you know, use something to get all that crap out of there. Um, but uh, it's a pretty important thing to do, and I normally check uh, CPU temperature very, very frequently. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you thought it was helpful. Drop a like on it if you did. And uh, beyond that, you guys have a great day. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you later.